Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation. Uh, apologies, the weather's a bit miserable right now. Uh, we're in the middle of a bad storm. Uh, I did play a little bit off camera as well, just to try and get um, uh, just try and get a few issues sorted. We're basically uh, we were starting at least to hemorrhage uh, both cash and resources, and I think the problem was due to us moving the farms here. It almost takes like a, a cycle of or two of, of the production there uh, to get the resources back up and running. So we basically had no bread, which in turn meant we had no fish and no berries um, because they were because they couldn't buy the bread, so they were buying other things instead. You need to kind of have like an equal measure of all of them coming in. Berries we never really keep on top of now, honestly. We provide them because, you know, it's an easy few jobs in the areas where they're available, such as up here, uh, down here, you know. Um, but otherwise, I, you know, we're, we're not really pushing for berries. There are some here that if we ever end up going this way, we could get. I think that's probably about it. But again, you know, it's just a, a little slight resource that will help us as we go. Um, but otherwise... Uh, the only thing I did was then build up another um, bread outlet over here. So we did two farms, uh, a windmill and a bakery. That bakery has eight breads sat in it currently. And we have this over here that's that's holding all of the resources for that, including some of the berries. There's like berries here or somewhere. Oh, here, just right by the farm. Ah, that's cute. Um, so there you go. That's all. pretty much all I did off camera. And then a few other little tweaks and, and things. Stuff is starting to go up again now. The rain, unfortunately, does slow a lot of this down. Um, but these coins sitting at 400, I mean, they were sitting at negative 200 for quite a while, to be honest with you. we were I was having to hover over building stuff as soon as we got enough money to come in. I just clicked it and it went back down again. And, uh, it wasn't great. Uh, but I think we're starting to stabilize again now. Uh, I have also turned off uh, immigration because whilst most of the immigration um, requirements are actually pretty full at the moment, um, we, I don't really actually want any more coming in because we can't really manage with the people we have right now. And we have a few people uh, unemployed. So I think until I can get my resources back up and into a suitable uh, number, I don't actually want to bring in any more people. So the way we're going to fix that is, at the moment, we're very, very low on tools. And the reason is because the tools are often used up by this cooperage here, um, who are very good at making barrels. They make barrels and they sell them. We have very little use for them. So at the moment, they are bringing in some revenue, but it does kind of um, make it difficult to, um, to, to generate any income on the... Uh, uh, on the tools that uh, generate any sort of stock of tools there so plan today is to move up to this end here and open up what is an iron deposit here we also have some marble over here as well so we can start working on some statues uh, and then just some regular stone over there i'm not too worried about that but yes definitely get the iron and marble running here and build a completely uh, secondary tool generation over here and then have the um, the housing move up into this space that is going to be the plan uh, today, so we are going to have to open up some more territory, which I don't love doing because it is literally just extra money. It's just costing us cash, that is. But, you know, it is what it is. We will now edit this building and we will build an iron quarry everywhere we can. It's going to be there and there. Okay. Uh, we will always. Oh, we will always put these in because they look good. Can we get another one in there? Yeah, let's go for it. Um, and then we need the crane that actually stores the stuff, which is good. And we'll pop that just... Uh, pop it that way. And a cart, just because we can. We'll throw a cart down there. Uh, we'll say build on that and we'll start on this marble one as well, although I don't Necessarily have a much use for the marble right now. I don't think we actually have any of it in stock do we? Yeah, we have lots of quartz lots of gems. So we do need to start looking at some higher-end um, uh, Production lines soon I think because we have the resources for it uh, and not much else to do with it unfortunately, so um, We'll do some small cranes around there's a way of clicking those and making them go again, but I forget what it is. Uh, there we go. We'll click build on that as well. So they're going to get started on that. It's going to take a while, unfortunately, because they've got a hell of a slog to get to. 
But I mean, no mega rush for that really. Like I say, it isn't it isn't really a problem right now that we're not generating many tools. Um, it just slows down the production of new stuff. And also, I think if we do look at going into uh, more more uh, advanced resources, we do, we are going to need the tools there. So let's have a look. So they require gems and gold. See, I just don't think we found gold anywhere, unfortunately. So that means if we want to make jewelry, we have to import it. Um, which is going to be expensive, so we are going to have to generate revenue f to to sort of overcost that really. So let's have a look. Trade routes uh, wants to sell. Does anywhere sell just gold? See, nowhere sells gold. Polished stone herbs. Yeah. So we're just not not going to be able to make. Gold ore. We have zero gold ore. I don't think so. Unless there is still a bailiff mandate. Oh, there is one there. Look. Oh, I mean that looks like it could be gold. I don't know whether that color actually means anything. Where is that? Oh, it's not a million miles out. So we we could maybe get some gold in the future if if that is gold. That is. Um, but here you'll see as soon as we start making, uh, build. You know, as soon as we start building stuff. Wow, it just absolutely gets uh, slaughtered in the cash there. Look, average daily income is low market and trade. Uh, construction, upkeep, and territory. Yeah, so territory. So normally, see the upkeep is expensive, isn't it? I do wonder about whether or not we can save money somewhere. But this church is always pushing to be full, look. And which is probably our biggest upkeep. There you go, 12, 60. What's the upkeep here? That's a decorative tree. Uh, 141. Not really much we can do there. The tavern probably. Yeah, see at the moment the tavern costs us a lot and doesn't actually generate any revenue at all. So that's going to be definitely a hamper there. Um, the problem is with this is that we don't actually make either of the either of the products that we can sell from the tavern. So uh, sells tavern resource types. Nothing sold this week. Kitchen produces a meal in exchange for boar and cheese. Now, we have plenty of cheese. We have no boars. I mean, can we just click bartender there? It doesn't actually say that it needs barrels or beer or anything. We just see what happens there. Ah, no, there it is. Look, beer and wine. Look, nothing sold this week. So... So we need to look at probably producing beer then, I guess. That's going to be the next sort of easiest um, production line to go for, I think, because that just requires hop farms, which we could totally do here. So here we go then. Let's 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 use this to our advantage. Let's um, let's cut off all of this for a moment, and I just want you to clear that space out there, and we will turn that into hop fields. Uh, we also need to look at unlocking the ability to build a hunter's hut, which requires 15 Kingdom Splendor. Now, Kingdom uh, Splendor comes from the wooden keep. We currently have eight. So if that produces eight, we could totally build another one of those on the other side of town relatively uh, cheaply. So here's the big sort of fork that comes into the city. So I would say this is a good spot for one. So let's build a, a little conservative... Um, Fort here. Is it that one? Wooden keep. There we go. Okay. So, boom. Let's do a big resource there. Like that. Uh, apologies here, banging in the background. They are doing uh, construction work here, as they always do on this building, unfortunately. Uh, one of those. What did we do on the last one? Did we do one of those as well? Yeah, I, mean, I just do like that one. I just think it's the best looking one, but I, I don't mind changing it up a little. Just so there's some variation. Um, where's the, the... The the gate is, is a separate one that we have to put in, isn't it? I mean, we could just do something like that. Would people walk through that? Would... Would people walk through that? How about that one? Is that better? Hmm. Just a low... Huh. 
Not sure about that. But what we can do is then come into build and go to decorative. Is it decorative? Yeah. No. Is it walls? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Is the big gate that's going to allow people in and out of the city. There we go. Build you. Good. And now we can come back to this and continue on the other side. We will do an angle because we, we don't love the angles. We can actually rise that ride up, but I don't want it. I'm just going to put a flat roof on this one. So we've got some variation there. Um, we need 200 coins for this. This is the problem. I mean, that would probably do it. What, what does, does that tell us anywhere what the, what the Splendor is going to be? Kingdom Splendor is 10. So if we can get 200 coins in the bank, we will hit the, uh, the Kingdom Splendor for the hut, which means we can sell boars, which means we can sell food in the, in the, uh, in the restaurant. Uh, oh, 178. Come on, come on, come on. Look, it's, oh, it's just hovering. It's hovering. Stop with your hothering. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come back to this. As soon as uh, as these are built up here, we can we can get production of them going. Are you building? You're still missing resources. Yeah, it's the tools that are holding us back, unfortunately. Uh, okay, well, we'll hold on for either that or that to pop. Um, and then when we do, we'll come back. The keep is built. Um, I'm actually not going to do anything with it. I genuinely just wanted that for the splendor. Um, for the kingdom, which should mean I can now unlock the hunter's hut. Uh, we also get some decorative uh, wooden keep stuff and a weaponsmith, which is great because swords are good for our army and they sell for good money too. That trade bonus would be nice. What do we need there? Some labor influence. Okay. Uh, let me think about it. We'll keep an eye out for labor influence. Okay. But otherwise, that's good. That's unlocked us a, a thing that we definitely wanted. Resource production gives us the weaponsmith there. And then food production gives us the hunter's hut. So I'm pretty sure the hunter's hut just needs to be over. Ah, 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 ah. Something's going wrong here. What's happening? Re ah, no, we don't want this area reforested. Sorry. That's the problem. There we go. We do not want that area filling in. There we go. Okay. Anyway, sorry, Hunter's Hut. Let's have a look. Where is it now? Hunter's Hut. Let's, does it say anything about it? Uh, produces boar. Resources, five tools and five woods. No, I think I think it kind of we just kind of stick it up in the woods here, and that's the whole point of it. And we click build, and now can we now paint hunting zone? And I and I guess the hunting zone is is these woods. He's going to go and find wild boar there. Cool. What else got built? I just heard something. It might have been a house. So I, I upgraded all of the serfs uh, to commoners. Or no, sorry. Newcomers to serfs even. And I've turned off density. Um, so they basically will start filling this area. I just want this to be a big industrial area. A big sort of residential area here. We need people in seats because we are going to be able to tax them eventually, I think. Is that something we can do? Where is it? Tax office. Function assignable to building parts. Generate additional revenue by collecting taxes from your villagers. We need 10 citizens for that. So, yes, that is a good one. That definitely is going to bring in some cash. But for now, um, just getting people in seats and happy and stuff is fine. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on that one. Definitely going to probably, definitely maybe sort of almost make this uh, church bigger this way, which we can definitely do. A well is now built there, basically making this area a little bit more uh, desirable. Yeah, even just the well makes it very high desirability. That's pretty good, actually. Huh, I didn't realize the well's made that much of a difference. Or maybe it knows the market's coming. I, I thought the market was what did it. Because, look, if you look at this well over here, its desirability is low. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think maybe it's because there's a market coming. It knows... It knows what's uh, what's good for it. So all this area should be really high, uh, valuable, uh, residential. So happy to keep working uh, towards that. How do I turn that off? Oop, there we go. All right. Up here then, how are we getting on? Is this done yet? No, it needs some tools. And oh, 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 one of these is going actually. Well, we might as well start making some marble. I mean, I think we built 
Didn't we build the statue guy or did we get rid of it? I could have sworn we built one down here. Yeah, here he is, look. There is a there is a sculptor there and he has no projects available. But now maybe we could start building one of those nice things here or somewhere. Pull this out a little bit, have a little courtyard area here, maybe get rid of this little house. There's six people living in that house, that's insane. Um that would be quite cool, I think. And then maybe another one. I mean, here, it kind of screams for one. It's a really wobbly spot. But that kind of screams for a statue there. Uh, okay. So, I mean, we're really holding out on both this now. Because I want to get... Uh, a lot of iron coming in that side. Because this side is basically going to be used to make... Uh, tools and weapons is what is what I want to be happening over here. Uh, this bailiff is available. Do we do we send him out while we've got the money to see whether or not he can find gold? Because if he finds gold, then we actually have every resource on the map. Um, it's a little out of the way. It's right over here, but I'm hoping that that's enough to uh, to be able to at least eventually work towards this area making jewelry. I mean, this is all very sort of heavy industry stuff going on anyway right we have two smelters here working hard the blacksmith is generating tools pretty slowly is that just because the the stuff's going here to this cooperage yeah it has 10 out of 10 there but yes has no tools either we definitely need more tools uh do we have we don't we have three iron we have coal we have no iron ore yeah we just we need to make more iron basically is, is where that bottleneck is coming from i think it's just the lack of uh just raw iron but otherwise, everything is starting to come to place. I'm gonna, I've decided I'm going to leave this fort where it is, despite eventually moving up here, um, and turn this into more of an actual sort of military base. So it sort of comes up this way and, and it looks out over the sea. It's almost like a, like a proper sort of fort rather than an entrance to the town. This market is built, kept it very simple, um, just so we could build it on the cheap. We will put three people here. And we will assign these to be, what have we got the most of? Bread, uh, fish, and clothes. There we go. Bread, fish, and clothes now available to purchase at your local market. Come and get it. Uh, and that will just mean that this is the area now where everyone wants to come and live. When we eventually turn back on immigration, which we will do um, soon. Uh, because I think we're starting to stabilize again now. We're a bit low on wood uh, and stuff at the moment. But obviously, you know, we've just done a large wood building. All of this is getting built now. Um, that just requires three tools. I mean, that should be almost done there, really. He's bringing one tool. Bringing resources. There we go. So our two tools, two tools are now on the way. Uh, obviously, it's taking a little time because they're having to bring one at a time because they're literally generating them to order right now. But Galduzio is bringing a tool. Where are you, Galduzio? We're gonna we're gonna follow you, buddy. We're just gonna we're gonna live a day in the life of Galduzio. I don't. I'm probably pronouncing that so incorrectly. I apologise. Um, if I am. They did not clear the trees out here much, did they? <laughs> I really thought they would clear more trees out. This is a very tree-lined quarry. Um, but there we go. There they're building. Galduzio is going to do a bit while he's here, but he's getting pretty tired. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. He's he's having a bit of a rough day. But two builders are... Who, who, who's here? Who's here? Let's have a look. Yes. Getting it done. Fippin. I can't pronounce that one. Fippin. You require goods, but you have some goods. You're pretty full up of food. You need two different foods. You're greedy, Fippin. You're just a greedy guy. And then you, sir. Lutvard. I, I think you're going to be the guy who finishes it. Maybe not. Are you got See, Lutvard's doing great because he's just turned up for the day. He's a level six builder. He's already... Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, excuse me, Lutvard. You are literally full of everything. Why have you stopped working? Well, there you go. We can now put... Oh, we have one person not working, apparently, but it won't let me actually assign somebody. So that's probably an issue with tri villagers. Down here, there will be somewhere with a exclamation point. There we go. We have a woodcutter who can't work. Is that the bailiff? Yeah, bailiffs get very unhappy when they're out looking for stuff. Okay, so at the moment, 
we can actually only send one miner here. Uh, the other one's built, so yeah, we need we need a lot more miners. We could do with two miners there as well. So obvious suggestion here now is probably get rid of a builder's yard for a little while. Uh, fill out miners that way. This one probably over here isn't going to be doing much. So let's uh, hold on. Let's make you not builders anymore, and get rid of the building. And instead, you are going to become iron uh, miners. There we go. Okay, so now everyone's working. I'm guessing this is built. We don't have a hunter available right now. I think we're probably okay to pop on a bit of immigration. So happiness, employment, and residential space is all high. Sorry, I was having a sip of coffee. So we could probably going to find that we get about six people move in in six days. Uh, they are going to generate uh, bores. And then we also need to start working on um, the staffing available here for the... Uh, ah, look at that. They're good, aren't they? They actually... I actually kind of like that. If that's going to be a line... Hmm, are you gathering at the moment? Let me see. What, what's, what stays are we in? Harvesting, yeah, so... Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm half talking out to myself. We need a hop farm. Uh, food production, yeah, that's it, hop farm. So we're going to put a hop farm... Let me have a look at the brewery. Uh, no, sorry, not brewery. Right, yeah, hop farm and brewery. Because they're the two buildings that are going to have to be next to each other. So we can totally make a, a thing out of them here, I guess. So stairs up that way and a doorway that way. So so we kind of both want them on the, on the brow of the hill, really. Oh, the old dreaded cash flow problem again. I mean, in that case, we actually want to get the hop farm up and running first then, don't we? Because we, I would rather have a surplus of hops than, um, than anything else. And that's going to cost 100, so we've got more chance of hitting that. Because if we can get a surplus of hops, that means that when we do build a brewery, it can just start firing on all cylinders. I think all it needs is hops, wheat, and water. And we should have an excess of wheat now. We have 38 currently, so actually not that much excess of wheat as I thought, honestly. Uh, maybe another wheat farm isn't going to be a, a terrible idea. Where could we put another wheat farm? I suppose up here we could fit one. We currently have four. I mean, that is... Fair old chunk. We'll build this and we'll kind of see what sort of area the hops require. But yeah, maybe maybe another wheat farm over here. It's no terrible idea either. And also, it's just jobs for the new people who are coming in. Uh, they're all harvesting now. So yeah, actually, that is as close as... Um, that is as close as they could build pretty much there. So that's definitely something I need to look at. In fact, let's do that now. If that's as far as they get, if that's as far as they get, then all of this is wasted space because they're just not, they're not getting there with it. Oops, that is. You see what I mean? That, that's where they're getting to. So there's no point in, and also here, look, that is as far as they're getting on this one, so. This is, this is actually, all of this is dead space here. That could be another wheat farm. There we go. So that's where this wheat farm's going to be. Uh, this one seems to be struggling from a similar issue. All of this is dead space. Which is good to know, because that's getting up into the, uh, the area there. I'm not a huge fan of the path straight through the field there, if I'm honest. I'm not a huge fan of that. Maybe... Maybe just for clarity, we do this. Then, if that's if that's how it's going to be, you want to make a path there. And this one, then, instead, can now come here. And all of this, I think, is probably 
dead space as well. So, so there's a possible um, for another wheat field here as well if we if we really feel like we we need it. Um, really pack them in because there's that space there. They're just never getting there. Basically, they start planting at the farm and they keep moving outwards. Um, so wherever they are at the end of their planting season, that's that's showing you basically the space that those staff are able to cover. So there's just there's no reason in having that space cultivated for for further use there. Um, we have two people unemployed, so we'll get a hunter going. Um, we can now come back here and get a cook started because uh, very soon the uh, the boars are going to come a rolling in. Have we got somewhere we can store boar? Mm -hmm. Store boar. There's got to be somewhere over here that's not currently storing much of anything. Uh, berries. Very rarely need to keep berries here. We can store boars there instead. There we go. That's going to make it a little easier for the tavern owner to get hold of the boars. Uh, this area is starting to slowly fill in. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm in for that. We're still really light on cash flow. And the problem is, is that we've had to expand quite a bit. I mean, this space here is, is almost dead space. The, the only thing that happens here honestly is these people have berries look if we actually look at territory the only thing currently happening here is these like four berries here so i wonder if the berries they're making are they even covering the cost of the 50 coins a week that this space is making now i don't mind because eventually this is going to be uh you know um some more housing but at the minute, while cash flow is so low, that is something to be uh, to think of. I mean, there's not even any uh, fish over here. There are rock resources there. Um, so, like, it's not even like it's worth building more fisheries over here because they're all just going to come to this one and they'll end up overfishing it. Uh, did uh, Bailiff ever finish here? Stone deposit. Wow. Yep. Yeah. So that means, I think, Bailiff mission for mandate... Gain influence, go for it. That means we have no gold. That that that's it. We just aren't able to produce jewelry on this uh, on this level. I don't think because there's no way of us even getting gold. I think unfortunately. Uh, never mind. Jewelry is not going to be the end game for us here today. It's definitely going to be a barrels and weapons kind of place. It's a it's a salt and smoke. What is he a ham? Uh, it's going to be one of those kind of jobbies. So, hunter. Let's the hunter. There there we go. Who's this? Are you a are you a transporter? No, you're a cook. Okay, but that's fine. That's fine, because that just means that we don't have any boars sat in storage here. Uh, maybe you would be better as boar. And this one will be better as berry. Let's try that. But now the cook... Uh, who are you? Comfort Comfortata the cook. I am working. I love it. There we go. Cook is assigned. There are two meals there now. Three meals, even. That's great. So now I'm kind of... Oh, you're a new cook. Yes, of course. You're literally just going to come and stand here now, aren't you? <laughs> um, but you've made three meals. That's great. Comfortata, well done. Um, you have very little resources requirements right now. I am kind of interested as to whether or not um these because i think these meals are only for citizens right like i don't i don't think i don't think like regular peons are, are using those honestly um so that's definitely going to be interesting do we have a lot of iron stored here now we have a lot of iron ore there now we don't really have the cash to to fill out what we need it to be for though but i am going to pause the game a second because we do have the cash for a a brewery so we're going to build one of them. I think we're going to build it here, actually. And we'll just cut off a little bit of that farm. But I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, brewery should probably be in the city walls. Uh. Okay. I'm going to put it here. And while that's getting built, we'll unpause the game. And we'll fix this wall problem. Okay. Uh, is it shift to carry on? No. Control to carry on? No. Alt to carry on? No. <laughs> uh, hold shift and left click to extend existing wall. There we go. Well, that's what I did. Okay. 
So now we're going to bring this wall here and we will just chop off a little bit of the... Um... I know, because this is the hop farm, isn't it? Uh, have, I just, have I just badly designed that? I think I might just badly design that. Uh, I could do this kind of thing, but then it's just making it difficult. No, I think, yeah, I think I think I did kind of mess up there a little bit, but for now. There's a house coming in here. So yeah, no, I think I think we'll just we'll carry on as we were. Nice wide curve here. To there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. There's, the hops are going to be outside. What can you do? Um, at least they're built. This is. Oh no, we didn't actually click build on this one. There we go. So we still need this as well, and we it's literally just, just cash flow is our is our weakest resource right now. We're doing pretty good for almost everything. We have six people currently on a, un, unemployed, just waiting desperately for something to do. There are now five meals sat in there. Our cook is smashing it. Um, that's just because I think a monk is approaching your village. What do we need the monk for? Can you remember what it was we needed? Uh, trade bonus. Yeah, labor. So whatever the labor one is, if we can if we can accomplish it, if we can uh, fit him into our plan, we will. Because we that trade bonus is it's just basically free money, right? That's just like, it's the exact same thing already. It's just we earn more money off of anything they buy, if their if their um, if their trade. Uh, where is it? If the trade route so. Allied with labor. So basically anything anytime we sell berries or polished stone or planks, we, we, we earn more money. So what do you want? I will help the people. Fifty planks. We currently have zero planks. Ugh. We have zero wood. <gasps> Whoops. Uh I should assist the people. I think that's because I kind of messed up over here, didn't I? Yes, not so. They've cleaned. They've done. They've done their job. They've cleaned this area out. They also need to clear those few out. But now all of this becomes. Uh, this is a busy little forest. They're cutting down stuff. They're catching. Uh, yeah, they're catching stuff in there. Yeah, my mistake that was. Unfortunately, I set all the lumber camps with absolutely nothing to do. I don't think it told me that anywhere though. Like normally it says that it can't find anything. I suppose what they'd be doing is they were coming to work here. Coming all the way over to, I don't know, somewhere else over here and then going back again. But I actually think that was the only place that was currently uh, harvesting wood. Hmm. Maybe did we start clearing this area out here? Maybe, maybe we do. Because that's one forest to service the whole cities. It's not much, is it? So... We should get up to 50 planks pretty quick because we're not actually building much now. Apart from this, but that only needs 20. Yeah, we'll build it. We'll try and get it. If we don't, what happens? Uh, we lose five. Okay, well, yeah. So all hands on planks, I guess. All hands on planks. Um, let's let's set up another wood um, thing over here. We've got, we've got people who can work. Um, I'm going to put you here for now. Possibly... Possibly temporary this to be honest the oh man 20 coins literally just need 20 coins to build this thing The thing is it builds for free pretty much because it doesn't need any wood or anything. There we go Just need some tools which they're ba they're being made right there uh, Okay, yeah cash flow problems are Definitely the issue and I guess tools as well. Is it tools we're waiting on? Oh, no, there we go one tool So this hop farm just needs to get smashed out now, but yeah planks Hmm. We're going to struggle to service the planks here for labor. I feel bad, but what are you going to do? So much in the same problem that we had last time uh, with the other farms. I'm noticing the same problem here is that we filled up this side, but that's all they're kind of doing. So what I'm going to do is come down here, and I, I I think doing this now isn't going to affect anything. I think it just when they finish this run, they'll 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 do that. So what I'm actually going to do is paint this down the down the uh, thing a little bit, and then kind of come away here. 
I think that's probably fine for that one. And then here, uh, I mean, that, that's practically all right anyway, isn't it? But we'll just neaten it up by doing that. This, this bit of space here eventually could be something. Uh, we'll just pop that off so it doesn't keep building across the uh, the path. I'm not a huge fan of that. There we go. Uh, which in turn means we most definitely can have another one of these up here that's literally just, that's just value, that is, isn't it? It's just bringing in wheat, which we're going to be using for all sorts of stuff now. So let's make sure our doorways are okay. Maybe that way around is better. Pop it on the corner there. And what I might do actually is if we pop it at a bit of an angle like that. Yeah. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to build it. I'm then going to get rid of that. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to build it again on the other side. Um, where are you? I'm just going to build it here. There we go. Um, just just so that it just it's a little neater, right? Like it's just a little neater that way. Like the animals all run amok around here. I've given up on trying to keep them spaces for those. Like I think I think some fencing would be nice. Like I know we can down we can place down lots of little decorational fences, but just like little low picket fences that we can draw out that the animals will stay in would be awesome. A uh, visit of the minstrel in one of your taverns has inspired some of your villagers and they wish to build a lush garden masterpiece to honour the occasion. Uh, the building splendour is increased by 200%. Uh, build conditions far from other buildings. Okay, well, that's great. I don't think that's the sort of thing we're going to be looking at anytime soon, but thank you, minstrel, for visiting the tavern. Uh, we're really looking for uh, revenue developments now. We have 13 people. Wow, immigration is is being turned off again for a bit because people. Are, the problem is all the numbers are great apart from the cash. It just means we're struggling to uh, to do what we need to do. We will get three people working in the hot farm, and we will uh, most definitely start to paint. So let's get rid of that. Whoops. Let's get rid of that extraction there. Um, and again, we will use this first one to see how big a space um, they can really accomplish. See, again, look. Here we go. Here's here's another issue, right? This one, again, is just it's not filling that space. So let's come into that and fix that first because there is zero reason for us to have all of this space here. If we do that instead, now this one now can actually sort of, oops, can come right up to it. And I, I think it would be insane to think that we can't get a second one of these right next to it here filling this space. So what we'll do is we'll we'll fill all of this up like overly and just see how much they actually plant. Uh, no resources to, 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 to extract. The wood camp has no resources to extract. Neither does that one. Okay. I mean, yeah, you do. Hmm. Ah. Ah, 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 okay. Are you telling me that you... Ah, is this why we're struggling? <gasps> you can't have hunters and woodcutters in the same area. If that's the case, we're going to move the hunter. We throw the hunter up here somewhere. But then again, I want to clear this area as soon as well. Where, where is the forest that isn't going to be bothered? Let's have a look. Where are you? No resources to extract. Well, hopefully when you get back to work, there will be. I don't know. It looks like you're going to do what you're going to do. I am working. Yeah, you are, but you're not doing anything, are you? Oh, no. This could be the problem with the wood. Yeah, it's still on zero wood. Okay. Um... Well, I mean, wood is more important than, than boars right now. So we will actually get... We're just going to delete it. Um, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to get rid of all of this. Okay, so that is just going to have to be our wood. Let's see. It might take them a day to... Is it worth... Um, is it worth completely... 
Oh, look, there's no um, reforestation area either. Oh, no. What are we doing? Okay, so reforestation is all of this. No reforestation zone nearby. I know, I'm working on it. Okay, so all of this gets reforested. There we go. And then extraction is all of that space as well. There we go. Now let's see what they do when they get to work. So farm state harvesting. Okay, we just missed the timing on the hot farm. That's fine. Okay, we're cutting down trees again. That's good. Okay, so yeah, we need to find a spot for the hunter then. I mean, I, it's going to have to be here, isn't it? And it's not ideal. And I could throw it up here. No, because we want to clear those trees out as well. I just don't want trees anywhere. I, I, they look great, but they're just in the way. <laughs> um, okay. So, yes. Plan will be for the hunter to go here. Hmm. It's just not great. I, I, I just want a big, big forest for him to sit in. And he's going to have to instead just look around these 15 trees. I mean, that's a wood isn't it at best that's a that's a skelly if nothing else oh skelly is an interesting word i wonder if skelly means anything outside of where i'm from originally <laughs> um skelly was like a little wooded area I used to play in as a kid uh okay god you remember that remember when kids used to play out oh man i sound really old <laughs> we were able to do the trade bonus uh, we we aren't anywhere close to planks because i completely messed up the foresting system but uh, our, uh, our bailiff pulled out and managed to get five there. So we've now got a trade bonus. So we gave 20% with Villages of Labour Alliances, um, which is great. It's just, it's free income, basically. Uh, we can also look at doing clergy next time as well um, to get the trade bonus from clergy. And then there's also trade bonus from there as well. Again, just, just kind of extra money, really. So Weaponsmith, Hunter's Hut. So Hunter's Hut is hopefully up and running. Let's have a look. Where did we say we put it? Over here somewhere. I'm guessing not, because I can't see it here. No, that's a lumber camp. Uh, wait. Yes, no, we don't want that lumber camp anymore. Sorry, delete. Where did we say we put the hunter's hut? Here, there we go. Bring the tools to the hunter's hut instead. We actually want to keep this this uh, forest now, because I, I didn't realise you can't use both. But that's okay. That's okay. This, I mean, the, the foresters are going to go pretty crazy over here, but I feel like one, two foresters to one reforester seems to work okay. Um, although there is a forester over here as well. But is that a reforester too? Yes, there we go. Uh, sorry, forester and lumber is what I mean. So I, that, that system worked before the, the, uh, the boar man, so I'm, it should work afterwards. Now, interestingly... Uh, this hop farm, they they filled the space, man. They they used the every little cent of it. So um, let's hope one's enough. Like worst case, we could push, uh, we could push more into this into this uh, forest and have a second one here. But I'd really rather not do that because we're we're just pushing forest further and further out of the city. Um, Cash flow is still not really improved, but then we haven't really gained anything, have we? We've, we've built a lot of raw material production but that doesn't actually equate into anything you know people are eating as much as they were before what we really need to do is get a um is get a fancy resource we need, to, we need to get a fancy resource that we can sell and we can start then having citizens and then from those citizens we can start getting our, uh, our tax office which should <laughs> should solve most of the problems so that's definitely gonna what we will definitely gonna be what we work on next episode um in the meantime i mean we could start looking at some production here from the iron um swords would be nice because we military missions are also a good way of earning some revenue and but at the moment our military is looking pretty uh crap there we go we have two swords they're all fully trained but we have two swords <laughs> Um, this guy, Dani Tina, oh, lady, she's killing it. She's like the, but they're all novices, look. <laughs> I think, how does that, it, I think that's if we send them out. Hmm. I can't remember whether training them is one or the other, but anyway. Yes, maybe, maybe we'll finish off with some swords then. Let's have a look. Uh, goods production. 
Common wares and candles. Jewelers, gold, tailors, weavers, sheep. Okay. So, oh, can, we have a weaponsmith, don't we? We definitely unlocked a weaponsmith. Glass. Uh, oh, makes glass for quartz and coal. I mean, that could be a good one as well, because we have copious quartz over here. Like, and nothing to do with it. Okay. Okay, let's try... Let's try a, a glass smelter over here. Go for it. it. Only takes fifteen wood. I think I don't think there's anything else we use glass for other than selling it. Um, coal barrels, quartz, and polished stone. I'm gonna say no to barrels and instead put glass in there. Um, now coal we're having to make, aren't we, from wood? Yeah. So, but wood is coming back up again there, which is good. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's throw that there, because th I'm pretty sure glass is just a, just a trade thing. I think we're just selling it. Anyway, over here, we want a uh, weaponsmith. So, blacksmith is making tools, so we wanted those as well, actually. Um, I would really like them not to walk right on the cliff edge there, to be honest. Hunter's Hut's built. That's great news. So let's do you on one side. Can't build it yet. Uh, where's the weaponsmith? Build you <laughs> right on the cliff. Here's a trader coming. Look, look at look at how he walks. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Um, so we're, I guess we build you on this side and, and hope it makes people walk around. Oh, I suppose what we can do, actually, I'm completely forgetting, is we can put you there. Well, that's expensive. We can we can paint this to be forbidden land. Do not walk here, you morons. I hope that doesn't cause them too many problems. Um... Okay, Hunter's Hut, where are you? That, I mean, you should just go to work, right? Where are you? Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Here. Hunter's Hut. Missing hunting zone. Of course you are. So, hunting zone. This is the hunting forest. I hope... Oh, it can't be residential either. Wow, it literally is just... It hunts. That's it. That's all you can do with this space. Yeah, look at that. Well... And so I hope that's enough room for you, buddy, because that's all you're getting. Uh, working fine. Okay. And he's off with the boars. Now, granary. Let's assign this to be boar now, because it's much closer. Uh, the one that was over here and doing boars can go back to being berries for now. Okay. So I'm hoping that fixes the problem there. Uh, hops, we should be making numerous hoppages the brewery's built that's great let's get a brewer in there straight away um i mean there's a well right there so i'm not fussed about a well um they should get had no problem with wheat we've also got another wheat farm coming up here as well um glass smelter was built as well oh this is i mean if this isn't what gets us rocking then i don't know what does it does need coal and i'm not 100 percent sure how much coal we're actually producing Let's have a look, because I think a lot of it gets used in other systems. Oh no, oh that's iron ore. Oh, we have loads of iron ore now, good. Yeah, coal is, is pretty slim, actually. Um, oh, we're gonna have to open another forest up, aren't we? I don't, really didn't want to spend money on expanding places because it just isn't benefiting us much right now. Do we, do we, set, do we keep this forest and set it up as another uh, a wood and coal generator. I think we might have to at this point. And just have the city come up to the edge here. Because otherwise we're going to really start to struggle to generate everything we need. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe next episode we look at doing that. And also we're definitely going to get some citizens going as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.